So I'm down here in Dublin for my ACL reconstruction surgery. Um, it's down in SSCU, which is in Dublin, so I'm in a hotel right beside it now. Looking forward to getting the surgery done. It's been a long couple of months since I've actually done it, so I'm excited to say the least. I found a wee hotel gym here, so I'm going to do a wee workout, um, because it's going to be my last workout for like a week or two. So basically tomorrow I'm going in, and what they're going to be doing is taking a bit of this here patella, and they're going to be like, doing keyhole surgery. To the knee and this patella is going to become a new ACL. Um, so it's a tendon, so it's going to have to embed to become a ligament. Usually people get it from the hamstring, which is probably like what you've maybe heard before, seen before, but this is like a new approach to it, which seems to be more beneficial. I'm just really excited to get it done now and kind of get on the journey of getting the rehab going because like for the past two months, like yes, you were rehabbing and it was getting better, but you knew it was getting better, but it was always you're always going to be getting surgery so it was always going to be getting knocked down before it got better again so i'm happy now that it just should be a straight trajectory up <laughs> to be honest with this acl injury it's weird and what i've been telling people is weird because it's actually not really that painful in everyday life like you wouldn't really notice it that much maybe in certain circumstances, but it's not really that painful, it's just more inconvenient more than anything. Um, now, if you're going to go and play football, it'll be a different story, but really the worst thing about it and the most painful thing about it is like just watching life go on as normal without you, you know, so football, watching the lads playing championship going without you, watching like student jiu-jitsu for a long time is going well at that, watching the whole club go on. I know you're happy to see all your friends doing well, it's hard sitting watching it too, um, especially when you feel good, you know, you don't actually feel in pain. It's strange, and that's been the hardest part about it, so we're getting closer to being back. So just done a wee bit of pump stuff here, some dumbbell bench and pull downs and some arms because this gym has got nothing. But I like this, I like this. So we've got a whole series of exercises on exercise balls over here. Like number one, how you think pitting that up's a good idea for number one. This lad, without a doubt, face planted to the ground, as did this doll over here. Like how you think, this is the place to start. Let's give people an exercise ball. Fuck the bench, we'll just make it a bit harder. Let's go with that. Also, even better than that, this gym doesn't even have a fucking exercise ball in it to do them. Uh, we're walking over to the um, sports surgery clinic now. It was only a couple of minutes away, that's it there. Um, so I'm going to try and kind of video just as much of the process as I can so that you have an idea of what goes on and what it's like. Um, not really too nervous yet, but i um, just fucking excited to get it done. I've got process through him in my room now. Should we show you a wee tour. Not bad, private room. Could be worse. So basically now I think I have to wait for like the nurse and doctor to come and they talk to me and take me down. And but so far so good. So the surgery finished up. I was out for quite a lot of time, um, but I think it went smoothly. I haven't talked to any of the surgeons or anything yet, but I gather it went smoothly and um, my feet are moving, which is a positive. My leg hasn't been cut off, um, but feeling good, just feeling like very groggy at the minute, just because I haven't really drank much water because I've been fasting and stuff. 
And um, yeah, it was weird anesthesia going under your arm, like you put it in here. And it feels pure burning, like going up in and then put like an oxygen mask over and man down. Could have fucking done anything to me. But I think this fixed my knee. But they, all the staff and all the people were really nice here, really friendly. So you're never kind of nervous or worried, which is good. So um, yeah, I'm just going to chill out now. It's going to be like a holiday now. So, um, this is now Wednesday morning, so the day after the surgery. Um, I think he's not feeling too bad. It was quite sore times last night, but um, like I think you kind of have to expect that. So if you're going in for surgery, expect that it's going to be probably quite sore. And just, if you keep it still, it's not sore. It's just any kind of movement on it. Um, surgeon Ray Moore again was in today. He was in yesterday with me, and um, I think it all went pretty well. So um, yeah, kind of happy that it's all it's all went good, and um, kind of hoping it just stays that way now. But uh... So thanks for watching, I'm back at the house now, I'm just kind of rehabbing up the leg, keeping it up, trying to get the swelling down. Um, but overall I'm just glad it's done and glad to be kind of on the road to recovery now. Um, and I think too, the more I think about it, the more you realise that you have a lot of choice now and I have a good opportunity now to like build some leg strength, even build some upper body strength, which I maybe didn't have as much chance to do before with football. I have some time whenever I'm at that stage to start working on some speed development and put a lot more time in than I would have been able to beforehand. And, um, when you're actually playing so it's like an uninterrupted amount of time where you can kind of make a lot of improvements so I'm looking forward to that as well um, but yeah thanks for watching and um, share with anyone that's getting their ACL done